What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Workshop video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this simple DIY bike storage rack. Stay tuned. My wife and I like to bike. Between the two of us, we have five bikes. Since moving into our house, we haven't had a good system to store our bikes, and because of that, they've tended to pile up. I decided it was finally time to fix that problem and I wanted to do so cheaply. To start, clear out your area and measure the amount of space you have available. As a general rule of thumb, you'll need roughly one foot per bike plus a foot on either side. So for my five bikes, I needed roughly seven feet of wall space. I cut down two eight foot two by fours to length and mounted them to my wall using three and a half inch screws. I checked for level on each two by four before mounting. Make sure the screws go into your studs as these pieces will be supporting quite a bit of weight. I used two screws per stud, which might have been overkill, but better safe than sorry here. So let's talk about the measurements for placing the 2x4s and the hooks. The lower 2x4 should be roughly 65 inches from the ground. This height will accommodate most bikes, but it's best to measure the length of your bikes before mounting. The upper 2x4 should be placed 14 inches above the lower 2x4. Your hook placement should be roughly 24 inches from the next hook on the same row. Since a few of my bikes have wider handlebars, I spaced my hooks 26 inches apart, but this, again, will depend on your bikes. Place the hooks in the upper row in the center of the hooks in the row below. To mount your hooks, pre-drill holes using a 3 8 inch drill bit and then thread the hooks into the hole. Test fit your bikes along the way so that you can make any required spacing adjustments. Once your hooks are mounted, the basic bike rack is done, but I wanted to add a little cabinet for storing bike accessories. For this, I just used pieces of scrap 3 quarter inch and quarter inch plywood I already had on hand. To start, I trimmed two pieces to length based on the space I had available at the end of my rack. These pieces will make up the top and bottom of the cabinet. Next, I cut quarter inch dados into my side pieces to accept the shelves. I wanted the shelves to be adjustable, so I cut quarter inch dados spaced every three inches. The shelves will be able to slide in and out of these dado slots. Instead of installing a dado stack, I made the cuts in two passes, moving the fence over an eighth of an inch between passes. I assembled the carcass using inch and a quarter screws, making sure to pre-drill to avoid splitting the plywood ingrain. For mounting the cabinet to the wall, I decided to use a French cleat. I cut two pieces of plywood at 45 degrees, which will allow them to fit together later to form the cleat system. I cut a few more pieces to make up the back of the cabinet. There were a few reasons I didn't make the back of the cabinet solid. One, I wanted to use some of the small pieces of plywood scraps I've had hanging around forever. Two, I wanted some airflow through the cabinet to allow helmets, shoes, and other stinky, sweaty items stored within the cabinet to dry out. And three, I wanted to keep the weight of the cabinet down. After cutting the back pieces to length, I attached them using inch and a quarter screws. I made sure to leave enough room below the French cleat to allow me to put the cabinet onto the matching cleat, and I also placed the back pieces so that the shelves wouldn't be able to slide past the back of the cabinet. To install the French cleat, screw it onto the rack using 2 inch screws making sure it's level and that the beveled edge is facing the wall, and then to install the cabinet, just slide the opposing French cleat onto the cleat on the wall. This is actually the first time I've used a French cleat and I'm not sure what took me so long. This system is incredibly simple and can be made with nothing more than scrap plywood. I cut the shelves to size at the table saw using quarter inch plywood. As you can see, having extra dados available makes the shelves adjustable, which is great in case you decide to store different equipment on the shelves. Last, I added a few hooks to the bottom of the cabinet and chamfered the edges. In case you're wondering, the ragged edge of the plywood was from having the plywood cut at the home center, and I will not be doing that again. After cleaning up the cabinet, you're done. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. This project was more a necessity than anything else. This was super cheap. The two by fours were, I think, $6 for both of them. The hooks were $12 for a pack of six. I'll have links to that in the description below. And the little cubby system I just built out of scraps I had on hand. The sizing is gonna have to be adjusted a little bit based on your bikes. For instance, my Surly Ogre is a 29er and it has a really long wheelbase. So I actually can't hang it on the lower level or else the tire touches the ground and that kind of throws off the balance of the bike and just you don't want that if you're gonna do this I would recommend measuring the total length of your bike from one end of one wheel to the other end of the other and kind of adjust the height of the first level on the rack 
to fit that need. So mine is at 66 inches, which is fine for my road bikes and my wife's road bike and my wife's mountain bike because hers has a smaller wheelbase, but for my mountain bikes, they don't work there. Another thing to consider is the top rack, how close that is to the ceiling, because you gotta be able to get the wheel onto the hook without it hitting the ceiling. You might have to move the hooks around a little bit, but it's really easy, just drill another hole. This just worked out super well. The cubby system's gonna be great. We've just had our bike accessories kind of strewn on the floor and that obviously didn't work. Now we have places for our helmets, glass, gloves, spare tubes, shoes. I mean, there's so many little accessories when you get into biking. I'm really happy to have this done. This is gonna clean up this side of the garage and hopefully you guys can do something similar. All right, I think that's gonna do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you wanna go ahead and get subscribed, I have buttons here to subscribe to my main channel and to my second channel. If you wanna check out another video, check that out here. And if you wanna support me on Patreon, that is super helpful, check that out down here. All right, guys, thanks again for watching and until next time, happy building.